Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about something called subclinical scurvy. Now, what does scurvy mean? Scurvy is a severe vitamin C deficiency. Okay, subclinical is something that doesn't show up on a blood test or a usual test. So it might be that you're kind of slowly developing a vitamin C deficiency. You're not quite a full blown, but it's just before that phase, kind of like a pre diabetes type situation. You, in another word for that is called latent scurvy, uh, where you have deficiencies, but it doesn't show up yet. Okay. Because you just don't end up one day with a with scurvy. It's kind of slowly starts to uh, happen. And a lot of people are deficient in vitamin C. In fact, one out of uh, five men are deficient in vitamin C. One out of nine uh, women are deficient in vitamin C. One person might have it in their, like gums, is bleeding gums. Another person could have it in their muscles as a weak inflamed muscle, where someone else could have it in the arteries of the heart. Okay, so it could be different for different people. So that's why sometimes it's hard to have this, you know, perfect uh, diagnosis of vitamin C deficiency and go, oh, you have these three things, so you have it. Okay, because it could be actually have a wide range of things. So I wanted to kind of give you an overview, uh, kind of just a general idea of what could occur if you're starting to become deficient in vitamin C and maybe you're not a full blown a scurvy case, but you have some of the symptoms. Okay, here, here's some of the symptoms. Fatigue, you feel weak, irritable, leg pain, inflammation, achy joints, muscles. I mean, this is very, very common. Now, instead of going out there and getting very expensive tests to figure this out, all you have to do is start consuming uh, foods high in vitamin C and see if you get better. See if these things clear right up and you're probably going to find they do. That's actually the easiest thing to do. But the tissue in your body that is most susceptible to vitamin C deficiencies is your vascular system. Because vitamin C has the purpose of keeping the collagen in the arteries nice and strong and elastic. Okay. When you don't have vitamin C, you get certain like little lesions or holes in the arteries. So vitamin C is intimately involved in vascular integrity. Okay. And so you have capillary damage, which really happens with high levels of sugar in the blood or glucose in the blood being a pre-diabetic or a diabetic. And then you end up having high insulin. What happens is that high amount of sugar competes with vitamin C. So you'll actually, when sugar goes up, your vitamin C goes down, then you become susceptible to getting capillary damage. And so you have little areas of bleeding in the artery and inflammation, and then comes the cholesterol and the calcium as a band aid. This can also happen in your skin as a rosacea it can happen on the gums as bleeding gums It can happen in your nose as a nosebleed. So really you need vitamin C to protect you against high levels of sugar. Um, because this can also affect the capillaries to the nerves as well. Another nutrient that will protect this is, is B1, but vitamin C will do it too. So you want to start increasing your vegetable content, dark leafy greens, the bell pepper is loaded with it, cabbage, sauerkraut fermented actually has a tremendous amount of vitamin C, uh, berries have vitamin C, other vegetables. Now citrus also has vitamin C, but when you buy bottled lemon juice or lime juice, it's pasteurized. So there's hardly any vitamin C in there. So the key with this is have actual lemons and get your juice from the lemons. If you're trying to get your vitamin C from it. Okay. So I just wanted to bring this up. You may have these symptoms. You want to prevent this right here. And the way you do it is through the foods, having foods higher in vitamin C and also keeping your sugars low by doing keto and intermittent fasting. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press the button below and I will keep you in the know. Hey, that rhymes.